Hello friends, uh, here is another quick ink review. This one is of Ferris Wheel Presses uh, Cream of Earl, which is, uh, this is a Canadian company with some really beautiful colors, not, not really cheap though. This one was $22 for 30, 38 milli milliliters. Um, the bottle is beautiful. I, I really love their bottles. They look like magic potions or something like that. Um, the caps continue to be kind of annoying though. They're, they're not really fun to use and uh, sometimes these these seals come undone and then you have to glue them back together. But um, on the other hand, uh, they stack really well. So, you know, you have more than one, you know, they, they kind of fit together well. So, uh, beautiful bottle design. This is an odd color. It's supposed to be like a, a, um, a pinkish gray, but I, I really haven't really noticed it to be very pinkish. It, to me, it's more, uh, I'll say, like a French gray. It's a, it's a warm gray, but I find it uh, not particularly super pink or anything like that. It does not have, I would call it like a French gray, really. It does not have much um, color shading or sheen. A little bit if you really pile it on and let it dry, um, but it flows really tremendously well. I have I have liked it, and uh, it's given me no trouble in any of my fountain pens, um, and it works pretty well with these calligraphy nibs. But I really I really prefer it with the um, Illustrator nibs. It it flows better with. The, these high flow inks, they seem to do better with, um, with illustrator nibs for me anyway. Uh, great with glass pen. Everything goes well with glass. So I have no complaints with it. Uh, strangely, I, I, even though it writes very well in almost every, with almost everything, I almost never use it because it's such a mild color that I find that I find unless the paper is super white, um, there's not enough contrast between it and the paper uh, for it to be super legible. Uh, I ran this test. This is I really piled it on here and let it dry for a while. And I let this one dry and then I put some water on it. And as you can see, it, it I tried to smear it didn't smear very well. So it's surprisingly good with water. So I like it for drawing. Um, especially really my, like landscapes and stuff, but I don't, I don't really love it for writing unless I have a really high contrast paper with it. So yeah, that is um, Ferris Mabel Press's uh, Cream of Earl. I, I really like it, um, even though I don't use it very often. So tell me your experience with it, because I'd love to hear about it.